I would be cynical only towards the government because the, when it's at this massive a scale, uh, there's only so much the government can do. Uh, and not everyone can be a Chetan Bhagat who no, can no. shift from IIT, IIM to becoming an author. No, and I want them to be making money so they can buy my books. Uh, <laughs> so if they're jobless, they will not buy books. So, you know, the, uh, the two main points, it's a lot of people in the panel. One is, there is, no matter what the government does, no matter how many skills you do, no matter how many multinationals come in India, you're not going to have one crore jobs. So the entrepreneurship is the only way the gap has to be filled. But apart from a few cultures like Marwadi culture or Gujarati culture where kids are encouraged to do their own business, uh, most cultures in, uh, in India are settle ho jao, achhi naukri le lo. Uh, unfortunately, it's great if you can settle down, get a job, but you're not going to be able to. So maybe it's skill development only, but we must teach our kids how to do mini entrepreneurships. Like how does a chaiwala even work or how does a bakery work or how does a... Because there's just not going to be enough jobs. Can I, can I just take that point of yours to Anand Kumar yeah, for a moment? Yeah, just one. And the yes. second thing I want to say is, you know, we have a government which... Uh, and many governments talk about jobs, they all know, but we really have to, the population has to question itself, do we reward a political party if they do these long-term measures to create jobs, to create, make in India? It's not going to happen in six months. It, it really needs, uh, like, even the land acquisition bill is technically for jobs, for example. But it's, you can see the resistance that comes. If we encourage, if we see a government encouraging in the industry, any government, we say, well, the government's very cozying up to the rich guys. So. Things that actually create jobs, are we rewarding our politicians with our vote for it? Or are we saying, you know, give us something instant, give us instant gratification and, and until the country as a whole realizes this problem of one crore jobs a year, only then we'll kind of trust a government to, to create those. Because even if now they try to come up with a five-year plan to create jobs, I don't think that's going to get them the votes. Let, let, let me just for a moment, just, just shift to the reality that you mentioned. Anand Kumar ji, aapke yahan, Super 30 mein, log aate hai from lower income groups. They come from lower income groups, the dream of being an IITian. Is becoming an IITian enough? Is the exam, first of all, the IIT JE exam designed that it does not help the lower income groups to actually enter IIT? And even today, if you enter IIT, that doesn't give you a training in entrepreneurship necessarily. So do you accept that there is a problem? Do you believe IIT, those lower income groups by just entering IIT, will be able to bridge this gap that they suffer in the job market? First of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. And if you are speaking English, then you should be able to speak in your language. So I am doing this work. I will give them a chance. And I also have a need to talk in a good way. Do you not think that you have to improve your job requirement in English? Do you think that your job prospects in India are more improved if you speak in English? If you speak in English, it is more. But we have not come to take a job, but we have to talk in your heart. That's why we have to take a job. There are such things that IIT is a dream. एक सपना होता है आप जाइएगा भारत के अलग अलग जगहों पर तो जहां पर उतना विकास नहीं हुआ है जहां पर जॉब की अपॉर्चुनिटी उतनी नहीं है वहां के लिए एक माता पिता के लिए सबसे बड़ी बात क्या होती है कि बच्चा डॉक्टर बने इंजीनियर बने या ज्यादा से ज्यादा यूपीएससी क्वालिफाई करे तो मैं चाहता हूं कि वैस तरह के बच्चे जो आई के लिए जाते हैं इंजीनियर बनना चाहते हैं तो उनके लिए सबसे बड़ा एक संस्थान आई होता है बड़ा इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई होता है अब प्राइवेट भले ही आईआईटी टॉप 200 इंस्टीट्यूशन के लिस्ट में ना आए भले ही आईआईटी कोई मंजिल भार्गो पैदा नहीं किया हो आज तक लेकिन एक सामान्य लोगों के लिए आईआईटी एक बड़ा सपना होता है और उसमें और कॉलेजों की रिस्पेक्ट में तुलना करें आप तो वहां जॉब की सिक्योरिटी होती है पढ़ाई भी अच्छी होती है रिस्पेक्टफुली फी भी कम होता है तो और कॉलेज के बदौलत उसके तुलनात्मक दृष्टि से आईआईटी बहुत अच्छा इसलिए बट दस या बारह आईआईटी से तो ये जॉब मार्केट का जो प्रॉब्लम है वो तो रिजॉल्व नहीं होगा है तो दस या बारह आईआईटी जाने के बाद बच्चा का जॉब मिले रिस्पेक्टिवली ज्यादा उसके पास गारंटी होती है बल्कि दूसरे क्षेत्रों में जाने के लिए इसलिए लोग आईआईटी में जाना चाहते हैं और उसके बाद कैसे जॉब मिले इसके लिए तो हमारे मंत्री जी प्रयास कर ही रहे कि कैसे जॉब में इसमें आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू एड अ स्मॉल थिंग यस आनंद जी जो कर रहे हैं मुझे लगता है कि बहुत कम लोग इस धरती पर ऐसा काम कर रहे हो लेकिन एक विषय है मैं भी बिहार से हूं और आप भी बिहार से हैं 
ये जिस क्षेत्र में आप रोजगार नौकरी देना और आईटीआई ये इसकी सीमाएं हैं क्योंकि 100-200 लोग बिहार आज भारत की आबादी में सवा सौ करोड़ में एक दसवां हिस्सा यानी यानी लगभग दस करोड़ लोग रहते हैं मैं जानता हूं क्योंकि मैं एक 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 एयरलाइंस में कप्तान भी हूं आई फ्लाई इंडिगो एयरलाइंस एज ए कैप्टन मैं अगर सौ लड़कियां जो एयर होस्टेस के रूप में आती हैं उस सौ में सब दसवीं और बारहवीं पास लड़कियां हैं मात्र इसलिए अगर सौ में एक या दो लड़की जो जमशेदपुर में पढ़ी हो या पटना नोटरडेम में पढ़ी हो उसका एम्प्लॉयमेंट इंडिगो लेता है या कोई बड़ी कंपनियां होटल्स में ट्रैवल एजेंसी में लेती हैं वो सभी लड़कियां स्मार्ट हैं सब इंटेलिजेंट हैं सिर्फ क्योंकि उनको अंग्रेजी बोलने का अभाव है और थोड़ी से ग्रूमिंग का कमी है वो सौ में पीछे चली जाती हैं जहां बड़ी संभावनाएं हैं संभावनाएं हैं रोजगार के वहां अंग्रेजी की अहमियत आज के वातावरण में चाहे आईटी का क्षेत्र हो या हॉस्पिटैलिटी का क्षेत्र हो सर्विस सेक्टर सो सर्विस सेक्टर इंग्लिश बिकम्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट एंड दिस वी हैव डिनाइड इन द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार एंड आई एम हेयर एंड आई एम बींग प्रेजेंटेड बिकॉज आई कैन स्पीक हिंदी एज वेल एज इंग्लिश सो दिस डिनाइल टू द सोसाइटी एंड स्पेशली the younger lot creates a discrimination internationally and nationally which needs to be addressed and i'm sure uh, anand ji will agree to this but i'm, I'm, I'm glad to i'm glad to hear, I'm glad to hear a bjp uh, minister say that because for the longest time you used to who, say who in bjp you says say, you don't have to speak english you used to say at one who, time no, what, what are you saying he, who in bjp says you don't speak english well they not a television show boss एक जमाने में हिंदी हिंदू हिंदुस्तान हुआ करती थी बीजेपी नहीं ये बिल्कुल आप परिभाषा बदल दे ये भारत का परिभाषा मैं यहाँ बैठा हुआ व्यक्ति हूँ और इसलिए इसको परिवर्तित करने का प्रयास नहीं करें वेरी गुड मैं भी एक बात रखना चाहूंगा इजाजत दे तो माननीय मंत्री जी बहुत अच्छा बोल रहे हैं हमारे बड़े भाई जैसे हैं लेकिन मैं मंत्री जी से ही पूछना चाहूंगा कि आप जब स्कूल में इंग्लिश बोलने की बात कहते हैं सिखाने की बात कहते हैं तो आप लोगों के जहन में कौन स्कूल आता है बड़ा बड़ा एसी मेट्रो में बना हुआ स्कूल कि वो देहात का स्कूल जहां पर टीचर नहीं जाते हैं और खिड़की दरवाजे चोरी हो गए उनको आप इंग्लिश सिखा कैसे सकते हैं तुरंत ये हमें बताइए वेरी वेल सेट एंड यू अग्री विद बिकॉज बट बाई एज अ पॉलिसी इन बिहार for last 30 year years we have decided no english then it becomes a problem no other states has done it now they are getting back because there was a state when mr karpuri thakur and later on they decided ki bhai hindi hi bolna hai apne bachcho ko sirf hindi hi sikhana hai is desh aur duniya mein bhasha hi chahe jitni aap jano aapki gunwan aur aap gunvatta badhti hai language should not be a barrier for your own credentials so it could be as many languages my daughter knows french spanish he she is advantaged you know, but i language to, cannot be a barrier i'm going to come to that for a moment because at the end of the day this is about equality of opportunity as well at the end of the day if someone goes doesn't get the kind of education that someone else is has the access to you are creating a division within the skilled labor force from day one but manjul bhargav as someone who's now looking to bring foreign professors to teach in india let's look at the higher education issue you are now in sort of heading a government committee which wants to essentially bring in global academics to india on short term courses do you believe that will provide that kind of competitive environment in which these young people can compete with the others in the world will that actually stop young edu- you know young educated indians from going abroad to seek their uh, their higher degrees do you believe just short term courses are a short term solution to what is really a long term problem Well, thanks very much for for having me. It's a uh, great pleasure to be on this esteemed panel, and also a great pleasure to be able to tell you a little bit uh, about the program that I'm advising on, the global initiative called GAN. So GAN is an initiative uh, that will bring in top educators and top scientists, uh, top scholars to India uh, to lecture, to give large lecture courses for. periods of as small as 2 weeks as you said but even uh, but longer for a semester a year uh, they will come and they will talk to our students uh, their lectures will be broadcast across india across the universities all across india not just the iits but but uh, all universities that can uh, can uh, can broadcast these lectures and these lectures will talk about cutting edge research that's happening worldwide and they're going to talk about the open problems that the youth in india and around the world but in particular in india have to consider the open problems that they have to consider to move india forward but but will it encourage generation. those young will it encourage let's say a young student who's interested in physics or mathematics to stay in india 
or do you believe at the end of the day, given the way the higher education system is shaped, whether in a Delhi university or a Mumbai university or, or Jadapur university, I will always look to go to the West. I will look to go to a Harvard or a Berkeley or a Caltech rather than, if I can afford it, rather than live in India simply because Manjul Bhargava is promising me a few foreign professors for a few months. Well, not everybody. There are very few limited positions to go to those places. Those are currently the best places in the world to do research. That's true. Berkeley, Princeton, Harvard, Oxford, these are the best places in the world at the moment. They have the best facilities uh, for research, uh, science and research uh, across disciplines. But not everybody can go there, and that doesn't mean that we should leave the ones who cannot go there behind over here. We should give them as many opportunities as possible, even if they can't go to those places, by bringing those people here. Uh, and is there enthusiasm? Is there enthusiasm among scientists across the world to come and teach in India for mathematics? There is. As soon as, as, soon as this was announced, uh, I got about 1,000 emails <laughs> uh, from scholars across the world who want to be a part of it. And, and the emails are pouring in every day. Uh, they're coming, the interest is coming faster than the program is able to be set up in India, <laughs> uh, which is wonderful to see. Uh, there's great interest in scholars to come to India. They've never really been inv invited in such an official capacity before. The fact that we are showing interest in, t in them to come and teach here and to take their experiences back to where, uh, where they teach is something that's ar arousing a lot of interest worldwide, and we must take advantage of that. That's, that's reassuring to you. I know that the minister is running on a very tight schedule, but I want to raise one question with you, Mr. Minister. I think Chetan alluded to it, and I want to focus on it. While Manjul looks at high-end science and looks at researchers coming into India and teaching uh, young Indian students uh, science and mathematics, the real need of these 10 lakh jobs a month is perhaps we need more plumbers, we need more truckers, we need uh, more carpenters. This is a country which needs far more vocational training than we ever have you know, that, that we've been ever, ever able to provide. Quality plumbers, quality carpenters, quality truckers have a better chance to get jobs in a new market. What are you doing to provide those skills? Why can't we have great trucking schools across the country? Why can't we have carpenter schools across this country? Why can't we have sc uh, schools for plumbing? And I think that my salary is 1 lakh, but I am a plumber. तो शायद उसको जिस दिन ये स्थापित कर देंगे और जिस दिन ये अखबारों में इश्तेहार आने लगेगा शायद दैट इज द डे वी वुड इंडिया वुड हैव सो सो दैट वुड बी द डे व्हेन यू विल फील द स्किल डेवलपमेंट मिनिस्ट्री हैज अचीव्ड इज एस्पिरेशनल इट शुड बिकम एस्पिरेशनल एंड देन वी हैव टू डिसाइड दैट बीएस एंड एमएस हैव टू गो इट्स स्किल्स व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग it's it's let's look at south korea they do not we are talking about the national skill qualification the credit system which will start now which has started working my colleagues have but started working the ministry hum log us par kaam kar rahe hain ki wo credit system ho aap school mein satvi naumi dasvi mein pahunchte pahunchte aap skill ki taraf move kare but wo aane mein varsh lagega is beech mein hamara ye prayas hai ki industry ke sath sector skill council se mil kar ke aur bahut sare log yahan baithe hain jo is kaam ko kar sakte hain it's a challenge it's not being understood but it's a challenge i i partner all of you to Take you meet that last step. Acha, I have a message for you. Very urgent. Sri Naidu ji is calling you in Parliament. And since you are a minister, Narendra Modi's government, I know he's in Sri Lanka today, so you don't have to worry as much no, no, as you I would normally worry. Like but that. you could still perhaps have to rush. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd get into real trouble today. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. I need all I'm, your support. I'm, I'm, but but we will carry forward the conversation. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Mr. Minister. Before the Honourable Minister leaves the stage uh, and our esteemed panel, I'd like to call upon Mr. Aman Sinha, Executive Director WAVE, to come up on stage and present a small token of our appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister. With the promise that you will make sure that the next advertisement in the classifieds is for good plumbers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rudy. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Okay, I, I want to take this forward with you, Anand Kumar ji. Look, tell me, you said that the dream is to become an IIT, to go to the IS, or to go to the IS, or to go to the IIM. Do you think that the real truth is the truth of the land, that we are in the same direction now, that we are in the same direction, एक स्पेसिफिक वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग अगर इलेक्ट्री इलेक्ट्रिशियन बनना है क्या ये भी एस्पिरेशनल हो सकता है या केवल आईआईटी सपना अभी भी है जो आम आम आदमी है उसका सपना अभी भी आईआईटी तक सीमित है नहीं हो सकता है लेकिन आईआईटी करना आईआईएम में जाना 
जरूरी है या ये नहीं है वहां पर एक सम्मान की भी बात है अब आप लोग देखते होंगे कि जागरूकता बढ़ी है और हमारे देश के लिए सबसे बड़ा शुभ संकेत है कि गरीब से गरीब तबका भी अपनी छोटी सी एक कट्ठा जमीन बेचकर भी अपने बच्चे को पढ़ाना चाहता है अभी चेतन भगत साहब ड्राइवर की बात कर रहे थे मैं दूसरा पक्ष बता रहा हूं पहले ड्राइवर अपने साहब की खिदमतदारी करता था कि मेरा बेटा जब बड़ा होगा तो वो भी साहब के बेटे का ड्राइवर बन जाएगा लेकिन अब जागरूकता बढ़ी है वो चाहता है कि मैं सारा जिंदगी अपनी मेहनत करूं जमीन बेच दू एक दो जे, जेवर है वो भी बेच दू लेकिन मेरा बेटा भी पढ़े और इस साहब से भी बड़ा साहब बने ये जागरूकता आई है इसलिए जरूरत तो इस बात की है कि सरकार की नीतियां क्या है दो मिनट में एक मिनट और बोलना चाहूंगा लेकिन आईआईटी का ही एग्जाम्पल देख के मैं बताना चाहूंगा मेरे दोस्तों कि आप देखिए आईआईटी के लिए ही पिछले गवर्नमेंट ने क्या पॉलिसी बनाई कि आईआईटी में दो ही मौके मिलेंगे आईआईटी में दो ही मौके आप दे सकते उसके बाद आपका चांस खत्म हो जाता है तो बड़े बड़े स्कूलों के बच्चों के लिए बनाया गरीब बच्चा जिसके माता पिता आईटीआई और आईआईटी में नहीं फर्क समझते जो हिंदी मीडियम से इंग्लिश मीडियम में शिफ्ट करता है सिलेबस समझता है तब तक आईआईटी का देने का मौका ही निकल जाता है सरकार ऐसी पॉलिसियां क्यों बना रही है सरकार क्या करती है कि अब प्लस टू का जो मार्क्स आएगा उसका बेटेज दिया जाएगा हमने माननीय मंत्री जो भूतपूर्व थे कपिल सिब्बल जी से बात की कि सर ऐसा क्यों तो उन्होंने बताया कि इसलिए कि बच्चा स्कूल जाए कौन स्कूल जाएगा बड़े बड़े स्कूलों में कि ऐसे गांव के छोटे छोटे स्कूलों में जहां कोई पढ़ाने वाला नहीं है जहां तो, आप, ए, तो है, आपको तो लगता है, है, कि है। आप, आपको लगता है असली फर्क यह है कि बच्चा जो है क्योंकि मेरे ड्राइवर का बेटा का, का, का उदाहरण लीजिए और मैं खुद बताता हूं आई बी ऑनेस्ट विद इट आई हैड टू गो टू मुरली मनोहर जोशी फर्स्ट एंड अर्जुन सिंह आफ्टर दैट टू एच आर टी मिनिस्टर्स टू गेट दम इन टू केंद्रीय विद्यालय एंड टू डू सिफारिश as a result that young boy today is actually appearing for the iit this year the boy who i was able to get into kendriya vidyalay but most people cannot get their kids into kendriya vidyalays and you need a kendriya to aap keh rahe hain ki school ke liye ya to scholarship ya kahi na kahi zyada kendriya vidyalay banane padenge is desh mein 2000 5000 10000 kendriya vidyalay hi banane padenge to hi kuch farak padega pehle to jo kendriya vidyalay navodaya chahe usi ko acha se chalaye aur usi ko bade bade school ke parallel la ke khada kare मेरा कहना बस यही है कि अगर आप इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी देते हैं हमारे यहाँ भैंस पर बैठ के पढ़ने वाला बच्चा हो चाहे कुली का बच्चा हो चाहे ऑटो रिक्शा ड्राइवर का बच्चा हो वो आईआईटी कर सकता है तो अगर आप अपॉर्चुनिटी देते हैं तो क्यों नहीं उसको पलंबर तक क्यों सीमित रखते हैं